what's up everybody this is easy easy street gaming bring you a brutal age video this is on what is going on with these partners that's the name <laughs> there are so many partners that i would have never used three months ago that are putting out damage that i've never seen before i started last video i think a lot of you have seen it with the with the red tree man we did about 200,000 damage in one strike on the, on a team um, now we have a lot of stuff going on a lot of stuff going on I, I'm gonna just touch base on, on a, a bunch of things real quick like first we have two new levels in adventure okay we have two new levels that means there's two more islands open um, I am in one of them that I believe this is called the floating island I, I could be wrong it could be the next one no I know I'm sorry this is the this is the purgatory stage on the very last island and that's basically just impossible for me <laughs> uh, but we're go I'm not going to really get into the island much or any of that what I'm going to get into is these partners and how much damage they're doing I've got about five or six different partners I want to show you guys they I would have never imagined how strong they all are and now just a little um, a little uh, prequel I guess there's a lot of preparation involved to get some of these partners to do this high output attacks. The tree man that everyone had seen uh, last video, it was set up by two other uh, attacks first. One of them wiped out the defense of the other team, and then the next attack gave them all three debuffs, and then the tree man attacks and does these huge 64,000 uh, to three different partners at one time. So that's kind of what what I've seen a lot of. It, it, it's going to take a little bit of setup to get these big giant hits. Now, but if you're looking right here, the, I think it's called Thor's Curse. Uh, that's what it's called on the screen. Even though in the game itself, the description of it is called something different. It's not called Thor's Curse. It's called uh, Doomed. And that's when the clouds go over. They, they 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 put the clouds over you, and then they strike you with the lightning. Normally, um, it doesn't kill you, but these level 44 red scarecrows they're doing like 25 or 30,000 damage or something it's, it's crazy how much damage they're doing and it's not just them at this higher level than we're used to seeing them it is every there's a there's a bunch of them we're gonna get into them um, now this this next replay is uh, is a wicked from 3 323 we've seen this a couple times with the solo shot on Thera and this is the red nomad I've had a lot of people ask me about this so I just wanted to throw this in while I'm talking about it because that way I don't have to describe what's on the screen this is the red nomad he's third awakened he's going to be taking on a level 2 Thera by himself and he has the Ian war pattern that means that every time he strikes anyone he regains some hit points so Thera spawning all of the archer girls are actually hurting her chances because that's how the red nomad is actually healing himself so getting away from that back to this so we have several partners that I'm going to show you guys that are all doing between 35 and 70,000 damage per attack uh, granted some of the attacks are one or, or two or three strikes in one attack but still the end result after that one attack is over is a huge damage uh, most of our I, I'm this is not a number that I've researched but I'm gonna say that 90% of us, our partners are under 30,000 hit points. Now there's probably 10% uh, that have the elite partners that have the, the hit points way up. So when you have a, a partner attacking you that does 30,000 damage, he's pretty much killing you in one in one shot. And these aren't what you these aren't the ones you're gonna expect <laughs> at all. Um, matter of fact, I should actually apologize because I've probably advised against using any of these partners in the past. Uh, I know that I was taken by surprise by the tree man. I've heard about, you know, kind of heard the rumors about him. But then when I saw the replay myself, I and mean, he did 200,000 damage uh, spread over three different partners, uh, including one blue nomad that he uh, killed 95% of his third awakened ass in, in one shot. <laughs> so, uh, kind of exciting. Now, now, I know that this is not the whole game. The partner battles aren't the whole game. But this is something that I like to focus on. There's a lot of people that like to focus on the partners. Um, matter of fact, I'm I just joined a, a chat room from a, from a big clan and there's hundreds of people in there just talking about uh, about the partners so Love it Okay, now I Could be ignorant too. Uh, 
everyone that knows me knows that um, I bring to the channel everything that I can. I try to talk to smart people that know the game. And I try to bring correct information. But sometimes I don't. And this could be one of those cases that maybe I just didn't know that when they're attacking uh, the colonel that they're going to do this giant damage. I've never seen it with my partners. But meanwhile, we have Red Dragon Man, third level of Awakened, the fastest partner in the game, which I, I know a lot of people know that now, even faster than Green Dragon, Dragon Man. Uh, when he strikes Saya, he's doing, that, that time he did 17,000 damage times two. So that's over 30,000 damage in one strike. And I, I think that because it's the Lonely Warrior that she's set up as a boss, so she should be even harder to attack than a regular partner. And uh, so that's that's my theory. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. <laughs> so first one on the list of uh, partners to watch out for. There's 27,424 damage times two. It was a du it was a double strike. So that's just under 50,000 damage in one strike. And I don't know who's making them heal themselves. That could have been the new. Um, uh, sword girl <laughs> name uh, so good this. okay so moving on moving on uh, my preparation for this video is a little less than normal normally I have all kinds of information I want to pass on what I have is some good replays that I wanted everyone to look at and kind of just stir up a conversation I want to know if you've seen the same thing that I'm seeing now that there's a lot of elite level play from partners that I'd never expected it from before and in this case here, you're going to see, I believe it's red, yellow, there was 25,998 damage from one shot. Um, green, yellow just did like 35,000 there. So, I, I, I know Jellos, they are uh, four star partners. I know that a lot, several four star partners grow up to be very strong. I didn't realize that Jello was going to be one of the ones that are thrown down 50,000 damage per strike in, in good situations and I don't see a huge now I do see um, I do see a sword above Jello's head and while we're while we're watching here this, these replays don't last too long but I've actually got the game opened up on another screen so I'm gonna go over here and, and check out Jello's stats while I'm talking I can't really do this but I'm gonna try <laughs> so I found him here course I don't have him <laughs> so he has acid hunting as his first uh, nutrition is his second ability which is recover 20% of the hit points for two teammates with the lowest hit points and then acid armor all partners in the team will enjoy invincibility for one round which that's what, what you see when you see the circle around everyone when the match first starts and th there's green green jello comes on with 34,418 he had to get a little piece of the action too uh, let's switch over to green over here on this other screen that no one can see it looks like green jello his third ability is to respawn slime and that he can re revive a friendly partner recover 25 percent of hit points that's not really what we've been talking about i don't see any kind of specialized attacks that these guys are doing that, that these guys should have uh for a boss level for saya they're, they're just pounding her down with 41,350 damage now is this something that i've missed has this been going on for the past year and I'm just oblivious to it because I'm oblivious to a lot of things I guess sometimes I've had my focus on different things and maybe there hasn't been on these partners that have been teeing off for 40,000 damage <sighs> oh so next video these are kind of be a little quicker videos I've been throwing down these 15 20 minute videos I know it's a long time so it's a much shorter next video is going to be on the new new adventure islands we have two new islands two new war patterns I've got some good ideas with the war patterns I talked to a really good player from from uh, a server that I can't remember their name right now. Jeez. And I uh, got some good ideas I want to bring to everyone. So come back. I'm recording the next one now. I'll probably have it at least within a week. <laughs> take care, everybody. We need to take care. Yeah. <laughs>